welcome to Nina's Good Cooking. I'm your host, Nina Cortez, and today I'm going to be preparing for you a traditional Puerto Rican dinner, and I'm so excited. This dinner consists of arroz blanco, habichuelas rosadas, chuletas, tostones, and a salad made of aguacate y tomate. I hope you enjoy. Our ingredients consist of Spanish olive oil, white vinegar, pulverized garlic, Sazon packets, coarse salt, white pepper, and dried oregano. We're now going to make the chuletas, also known as pork chops. Okay, so before I do that, um, I use, I'm using a medium thickness pork chops. You can get thin or really, really thick. These also have the bone in. And um, earlier, I rinsed them in some cold water and then I layered them between paper towels. The reason I did that is because I don't want the water to dilute this amazing goodness that is going to love these pork chops. Ah, oh, yes, okay, so here we are. We have our pork chops all marinated and now I'm going to pop them into the fridge and let them sit there while I create the rest of the recipe and then at the end I'm going to fry them up. The reason why is because the longer they sit and all that goodness, the better they're going to taste later on. Okay, for the tostones, we're going to use platanos. Now, I'd like for them to be as green as possible when I'm making tostones, but you can also let these sit inside your fruit bowl. They'll first turn yellow and then black. And when you cut them open and fry them, they're so sweet like candy. You can even add a little bit of sugar and butter to them. Mmm, delicious. Anyway, so today we're just gonna make those thighs. I am going to cut the ends off, and then I'm going to run my knife right through the back. I don't want my knife to pierce the actual banana in the, in the middle here. I just want to get it right there, okay? And then again on the other side. Be really careful when you're doing this. Now, I'm gonna place them in this warm bath water. The reason is because plantains are very difficult to peel. And they also turn your fingers black when you're working too long on them. So if I put them in this warm water, the water will get inside in between the peel and the actual banana and it'll start to loosen the flesh from the banana. It'll be easier to peel. And that's basically it. Moving right along, while my plantains are soaking, I am now going to make the ensalada de aguacate y tomate, also known as avocado salad with tomatoes. So here I have all my ingredients. I have Spanish olive oil, white vinegar, salt, pepper, oregano, fresh cilantro, beautiful avocados, red onion, cherry tomatoes, and one large clove of garlic. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is press my one large clove of garlic. Okay, and then I'm going to put this off to the side while I chop my fresh cilantro. Now, I wanna chop the cilantro first because if I cut up the avocado and the tomato on my cutting board, it's gonna get all messy. And a nice dry cutting board is great to work with when you're working with fresh herbs. So I wanna give these guys a nice chop. I don't want them to be eaten up too much because the more you mess with them, I don't know, it just does something to the flavor. So you're gonna see, you have like some pieces that are bigger than others, okay? And then I think that looks good. Perfect! Woo! I was never good at sports, so. Okay. Right into my bowl. Now, um, definitely gonna move on to the avocado. I wanna show you guys how you open an avocado. So if you wanna get rid of this pit, 
And another way, if you're shopping and you're not really good at picking avocados, you take this pit out. And then if this is green color, it's perfect and it's ready to open up. So I take my knife and I just slide it all the way around until I get where I started from. Now I take my avocado and twist and open. Gorgeous. Also, when you're picking avocados, you want to make sure that they just yield a little bit. If they're too squishy, they're overripe and they're not going to be good. You're going to open them up. They're going to be black inside and nobody wants to eat that. So you just want them to be a nice little, little yield. Add a little bit of Spanish olive oil to the bottom of your pot and a few tablespoons of sofrito. Then add your can of pink beans and a small can of tomato sauce. I use one that has a little bit of uh, spice in it. Stir it all up. Now we can add our other ingredients. We have Spanish olives and some capers. We also have bay leaf and cumin. There's about a quarter teaspoon of cumin. Give it another quick stir. And now we have a teaspoon of dried oregano, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of coarse salt, three packets of sasson seasoning. Make sure you get it all in there. Sasson tastes so good. Okay. And then one packet of hamon seasoning. Get it all in. Give it a good stir. And there you go. Just let it sit and simmer. To get started on the rice, we're going to throw a little bit of Spanish olive oil in the bottom of the pan and then add a tablespoon of coarse salt. My rice has already been rinsed. I'm going to give it a good quick stir. All right, there we go. Oops, I forgot my water. Now I'm back. Mm, I think I need a little bit more. There we go. That should do it. Stir it and let it sit till the water is gone. Moving right along to the tostones. I've already heated my oil and now I'm placing the tostones in there. Let them get a little golden before you flip them, but you don't want them to turn brown. one that I started with and I can start taking them out and letting them sit on a paper towel to drain off all the oil. Now it's time to smash them up. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not good. Once smashed, place them back in the oil and repeat the process. And continue smashing and placing back into the oil. Once they've cooked for about a minute, take them out, drain them off, and throw some salt on top. Now that all the water has been evaporated from the rice, I'm gonna take my spoon and give it a quick stir before we get ready to finish it off, okay? So I don't have a real reason for this, but I just like wrapping a kitchen towel over the top of my pan. I think it looks cool. And it kind of like helps my rice come out good. See, I told you. Damn, that's some sexy rice. Mm. Now I'm ready to add a cup of water to my beans, give it a quick stir, cover it up, and let it finish off. Making the chuletas, and we're gonna throw a little bit of olive oil at the bottom of the pan. Then we'll spread the olive oil around. Make sure it's all over the pan. We'll put our pork chops on the pan and then we will wait until they are golden brown before we give them a flip. And that is how you make Nina's sexy pork chops. <laughs> well, our meal is finally complete. I'm so excited. I can't wait to dig in with my family. 
thank you guys for letting me cook for you today. I really had a lot of fun and I hope that you enjoy creating this meal for your family as well. So don't forget, you can subscribe to my channel. You can leave a comment below. Don't forget to be kind when doing so. I would appreciate if you would share, share, share this video as much as you want. And please go over to my Facebook fan page, Nina's Good Cooking. Like, share, and that's where you'll find all the recipes with ingredients and photos. Thanks so much for visiting my kitchen today.